When France fell, Dönitz seized the opportunity to move his main U-boat bases to the Atlantic coast to improve their efficiency. Enormous covered pens were built to shelter the U-boats and their construction was so massive that the pens survived extensive bombing by the Allies and most of them are still standing today. Almost impervious to demolition, most are still in use by the French Navy, but some are being turned into offices and shops, like these being remodelled at Saint-Nazaire. Opposite the 14 U-boat pens is a gigantic dry dock built to house the most famous French liner of them all, the Normandy, and kept in use during the war in readiness should the Bismarck or Tirpitz ever need dry docking. The U-boats entered the basin that contained the pens through this lock gate that the fishermen still use today. However, the German high command feared that it was vulnerable to air attack and so made an undercover lock nearby. It never worked properly because it kept leaking and today it houses the French submarine Espelon which was built in 1958 and had the distinction of being the first French submarine to the North Pole and is now a visitor attraction. But it was Lorient that became the most famous U-boat base, partly because Dernitz had his headquarters there in the Chateau Margaret, now a pleasant bar, and partly because the crews were so well looked after. Relations with the civilian population were not too hostile at first, and the U-boat crews universally dubbed Lorient the ace of bases.